Thanks. <laughs> hey, it's Craig from TC Helicon. I'm here with Ariel Dean. Hi. It's good to see you. Today we are talking about whoosh, Mike Mechanic 2. Now I've been practicing this whole sort of whip it up into the frame thing, but I'm going to have to get better at it as we go here. <laughs> Mike Mechanic. So this is actually the first time you've seen this, which is pretty cool. It is, yeah. You so, gotta, you've been telling me a little bit off screen. but it, For sure. And we kind of set up a little bit of a sound there for you ahead of time. Right. But to sort of break it down for everybody, Mike Mechanic does echo, reverb, pitch correction, and tone, which is our adaptive way of doing EQ, compression, de-assing and gating, kind of just makes you sound really great before any of the effects happen. Right. And the, the whole point of this pedal is it's just a super simple way to get a really great sound, which is really fun to play with. So let's kind of go through some of these things and we'll mess around and we'll uh, let people hear oh. things a little bit. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the foot switch here. These are normally on the ground, but I'm holding it up for uh, the audience's there benefit here. We can turn the effects off and we're just going to hear the difference. If you want to do a little singing with just tone on. Okay. And then we're going to turn tone off and you guys will hear the difference of what okay. it sounds like. So this is tone on? This right is now? tone on, yes. Yeah, okay. so I'll turn it off halfway through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. There it goes. Oh, do you see where all that brightness yeah, went? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. And there it comes oh. back. So you can really hear that the high end really kind of gets accentuated. It gets nice and crispy. Right. The the lows and the mids kind of get, you know, take the mud gets kind of yanked out of them. Sounds right. really it was great. It's kind of like cutting through. Yeah. The... Totally helps you cut through the band. You know, if you've got a bunch of instruments on stage, it really helps for that. Mm -hmm. So let's go through some of the effects because they're pretty fun to play with. Right. So I'm going to turn it back on here. The three knobs along the, the top here are what you use to control the effects. So we've got an echo. Mm -hmm. We can choose from a tape, a digital, or a slapback, and you basically control the level by just turning it up. So if you right. can sing a little bit there. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the digital. This is digital? Yeah, yeah. Digital. So, this is, digital. so what you can hear between the digital and the, the tape echo is that the digital is more a uh, pure representation of it, like repeated perfectly every time. Yes, yes, yes. If I go to tape. Yes, yes. yes. See how it kind of like gets a little bit m sort of like more distant and muddy yeah. as it goes away? It's replicating what a tape echo would do where it's right. actually recording on a head and all that stuff. Okay. The last one is a slap echo. So this is where you can do your Elvis impression. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I've awesome. never actually attempted an Elvis impression. I know, everybody does a since my baby left me. <laughs> okay, so cool. the next knob over here is the reverb knob. And of course, that just puts your voice in a, a tuned physical space, right? Oh. So you're simulating, in this case, a room. So we can try that one out. Oh. Move it over to a club, a little bit bigger. Oh. Nice. And then let's go all the way up to a hall reverb, which is quite a bit larger. Oh. On. So depending on what kind of space you want to put your voice in, you can kind of mess around with it. Yeah. And then of course blend the two of these together to give you the sound. So when we first started there, we had a little bit of echo and some reverb going at the okay. same time. Cool. And of course if you want to talk to your audience, turn it on and off with the foot switch. Right. It allows you to talk without having the echoes awesome. and everything going. Yeah. Go. So the last knob right over here is the pitch correction knob. So the way this pitch correction works is it's autochromatic, which means that it's meant to just nudge you to the nearest note. So it's not dragging you all over the place. This is to really give you some confidence that you're going to get right on the note every time you hit it. The intent is that it's totally transparent, so you won't hear it. It's not some of the kind of sort of steppy sound. Okay. Um, it's going to be very, very uh, subtle. And most people run it kind of at 50% or less, and that really helps to smooth things out over the night. Cool. Yeah. So now, of course, because you haven't seen this, yeah. we crowdsourced some, some uh, improvements to this um, over the years. And, and kind of to give a bit of history, Mike Mechanic came directly out of the NAMM show, where uh, Tom and I were working at the booth, and people came up and literally described this pedal to us. Like, I want something with some echo and some reverb and some pitch correction and some stuff to do my EQ. And we're like, OK. And we made it. And it's actually been super successful. But of course, you know, we're, we like to engineer things and tweak and fiddle. So we decided to try and make some improvements based on challenges people had. So I know you use touch two yeah. in some of your other stuff. So yeah. it has a, a gain knob on the side. You got to turn up and down the, right. you know, the mic and all the that. Volume. Yeah. And what we did on this thing, which is really cool, as you can see on both sides, there is no gain knob on this anymore. And it automatically gets done within the product. So you never have to set it. And it just takes one of those challenges away from people. 
Mm -hmm. You know, they just don't have another thing to think about. The other thing we did, I'm going to flip it around to the back here, and hopefully I'm still aiming right at the camera. There we go. We did put battery power into it, so if you cool. don't have power on stage, you can get a, you know four or five hours of battery life out of some AA batteries, which right. is pretty awesome. And we switched over the power supply from 12 volts to 9, and that's just to add compatibility with guitar players. So they tend to have 9-volt power supplies, and it gets you up on yeah, stage. That could be really useful in a busking situation. Absolutely, yeah, yeah for nice sure. Power. Totally. One of the other little hidden features, we'll just highlight this here if you want to do a little bit more singing with some echo, is that you can tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we could do it, that's like a slow song. Now we could do like a faster song where I tap the tempo again. Yeah. So you can see how those. So those echo taps are, can be in time with your song as you're going, and that becomes really compelling to the audience, obviously, when you've got that going on. Mm -hmm. And you did that just by holding down? Yeah, you hold it down, it starts flashing, mm -hmm. and then there you go, you got your little tempo, and then you just tap the, the button in time with the tempo, and then just kind of back off it for a second. It'll just cool. go away. And, and then eventually, uh, do I have to hold it down again to turn the um, effects on and off? Or no, it's just, it's always a push to turn it on and off. It's okay. only the hole to access the tap tempo. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And that, you know what? It's pretty much it in a nutshell. It is supposed to be a super simple product, so there isn't a lot more to it. It's yeah. just that's the way it goes. It's awesome to be able to just chuck down on stage and really go for it and know that you've got this support of something making sure that you're cutting through the mix and gives you just a little bit more sort of oomph to your performance. Right. So You want to sing us out a little bit and I'll monkey with this thing? Okay, okay. Sure. Let's, I'm going to put on a, like a bigger hall verb and let's mm. do like with a little slap echo because that'll be kind of funny. and. Okay, go for it. And then. Oh, 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 oh.